changes to pads. Welcome to Leaders Ball Pads. My name's Kirsty. I'm like Phil. And you join us as we work through our A to Z of board games. For E, we have chosen El Dorado. Dorado. I don't know where the accent came from. <laughs> Sorry. I feel we both probably need to apologise <laughs> to somebody for that. I apologise. I just felt like it needs to be said. El Dorado. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <sure. laughs> El Dorado is a magnificent dash through the jungle and forest, searching out lost treasure until you can open up the Golden Temple. Ooh. With sound ah. effects. Who's <laughs> Andy Dad? <laughs> um, <laughs> Why not? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Let's quickly go through the rules. You come down here. Here's the game. Ooh. So in El Dorado, we are playing one of, in this case, four adventurers, um, two each. Um, I will be playing the red adventurers, and Kirsty will be playing the blue adventurers. Our mission is to dash across to each of these three temples, collect a gem from each temple, and bring it back to unlock the golden temple. To do so, we are going to be using the cards in our hand, of which we currently have eight and we will be playing them to move across various terrain types. <clears throat> so for example, if we want to move across a torch, we will need to play a card with a torch on it. And that would allow me to move my guy one space onto the new next available torch. The green cards allow you to move into um, jungle spaces, and the blue cards allow you to move into river spaces. Each of these also has a value. So in this case, value of one torch allows you to move onto a space with only one torch. The scout has a value of two greens, allowing me to move into a space with two machetes in the green. And the skipper in this case has one paddle, allowing me to move into one river space and one torch. And I could use both of those as long as I use them at the same time. So I could go torch, paddle, and that would be fine. But if I was here and I went torch, I would lose the use of that paddle, even if I played that in between to get me there. Obviously, you would play that more sensibly and you'd play the spare torch first. Other ways we get other obstacles we have to cross are coins, which we can play the coin icon from our hand to do so. Or we can also play these golden coins to move into one of those spaces as well. Finally, we have this space, these two spaces. So here's mountainous regions, and mountains cannot be crossed. Here are camp spaces, and to move into a camp space, you have to discard a card permanently from the game, from your hand, specifically from your hand, not from your deck, so it's got to be in the four cards in your hand. Permanently from the game, it's a great way of like, like concentrating the deck you've built, and that allows you to move into one of these spaces. Now, we start off with eight cards and our hand size is four. And on our turn, we will be playing up to four cards. You don't have to, unlike other deck building games, you don't have to empty your cards every time you play. You can keep one card in your hand or you can discard cards straight to your discard pile if you don't want to play them yet. That becomes very important when we start to build our deck larger. And there are cards like this with the card with the cross symbol marked off it, which means you're only gonna, if you play it for its effect, you're only gonna get to use that card once. You can, of course, if it's in your hand, discard it straight to your discard pile and cycle it through. Or you can use it to take an action. Our opening hand is very simple. We have um, some cash. We have the ability, um, some more cash. We have the ability to move through some torches. And then we've got a mixed pair there. They're not very useful, but that's the starting hand in a deck builder. And for those of you who have played deck builders before, you'll know that. The other thing we're going to be able to do in our turn is spend any coins we've revealed that we haven't used for movement to buy from this row here. This is a broader market 
and we can't purchase from those at this point in time until they come down to the um, active market here. These will move down to here when a pile empties and the person who empties the pile will pick which pile comes down next and can be quite a tactical move within the game to help you win. Okay. The other thing you can do with all cards is you can always spend a single card as a half a coin. So you can spend two cards as a coin at any point during the game as well to just boost you up to a certain level. Oh, okay. yeah, Finally, the last things to note. These are guardian statues that are dotted around the boards. Each guardian statue has an effect and if you stop at a point of movement next to one, you must trigger its effect. They are mainly negative. They're not revealed at this stage of the game either. Then, as long as you remain adjacent during your move, you don't trigger them again. But if you stepped away from adjacency and back into adjacency to a statue, you will have to re-trigger it again. I know. Now, the other thing are these barriers. These barriers are useful. Uh, to pass through them, you pay the cost. The costs are quite varied. So in this particular one, if to pass this one, every other player would gain a coin. This one, every player has the opportunity to discard a card. Um, this one, discard a coin from your uh, that you own. This one, pay two torches. This one, pay two torches. When you pass a barrier, you claim the barrier for yourself. And if we end up in a tie break, which is both of us finishing on the same turn, does happen, both of us finishing on the same turn, then the pe person who's collected the most barriers will win the game. Okay. If that isn't the case, it's the person who got to the temple first. Okay. Once you've collected... Once you've collected all three gems. gems. So we have two adventurers to dash around the map and then dash back to collect the gems. And I believe I'm going first. Okay, yes. So you've got the hat. I have the hat. I have you the, are Indiana Jones. I have the Indiana Jones hat. Nice. Okay. So I think we should have actually got a proper hat. Really? Yeah, yeah. to play this game. Comment below if you think we should have got an Indiana Jones hat. Please no. No, please do. Kirsty love costumes for way too much already. <laughs> we need no more costumes. And if you are going to get a costume for Kirsty, can I suggest that we go for the professor because I'd like to see her in a professor outfit. Really? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, so I draw my first hand of four. So it's a nice start. I'm going to play the student to move me to there, and I'm going to play the skipper to move my other red person to there. And the reason I'm doing this is you cannot move through another player. So I am now blocking this particular person, blue person's route, out of this corner. What, what a shame. And I've also got my two photographers, which give you four coins to spend, and I will take the archaeologist. The archaeologist is a great card. The archaeologist allows me to move into two adjacent red spaces, one after the other without worrying about how many torches are in those spaces. So that goes into my discard pile, so do the cards I spent. They're going to wait there until I've emptied my deck. Kirsty, over to you. Okay, firstly, I'm with my traveller and my photographer, mm -hmm. which is three coins, I'm going to purchase a smuggler, which goes straight so into my discard So typical of Kirsty initially going for the criminal activities. What? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Then... I'm going to use my skipper and my student to move two torches. One, two. Okay. I like it. So, okay, so, hi kids. Smuggling is cool. <laughs> I'm going to spend my two travellers and my two half coins here to get a smuggler. Okay. So it might be a criminal activity, but it's a cool one. <laughs> okay. I... I'm going to, again, spend a photographer and a traveller to purchase um, another smuggler. Okay, so Kirsty's now emptied because she is obsessed with smuggling. <laughs> I haven't finished my go yet. If anyone wants games brought back from other countries, Kirsty can get them for <laughs> you at a significant discount. I don't know what you're talking about. But Kirsty now has a bigger pile to bring down into the market. Um, Okay, I'm going to go for the healer okay. because I feel that everybody needs a bit of healing now and again. They do. Um, then I'm going to play my student to move my cowboy forward. He's not a cowboy. He's an explorer, I bet. In fact, I'm going to go there. Okay. 
and that's done. I'm going to keep this one in my hand and shuffle my deck. Do it. Uh, I'm going to play the Archaeologist. The Archaeologist is a great card, moving two forward. And then I'm going to play the Student to move one further forward. And now I'm going to spend my three to take the Treasure Map. Treasure Map's a one-time use card. Really good. Uh, you gain a coin and you can then move to any adjacent space no matter what the cost of that space. They're a real fantastic sort of get out of jail free card. I am in no way attempting to stop Kirsty's progression by putting my explorer there. Are you sure? Because it looks like it. No, I am. I absolutely am. Right. It's a nice musical interview from Kirsty. <laughs> okay, I am going to purchase an archaeologist using okay. two photographers. So hang on, you've got an archaeologist and a smuggler, so you're yep. smuggling ancient artefacts out of the country. What I do in my time is up to me. Okay. okay? <laughs> and um, I don't have any movement with this guy, so that's as far as I can go. So I'm going to keep those two. Okay. Okay. You can Let's discard them, should you want? No, I don't want to. Okay, I'm happy with what I've got, thank you. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Should have done it though. <laughs> So I'm going to play the skipper mm -hmm. to move into here. I can't use the torch, but that's okay. I will then use two coins to move here to here. Okay. And then a further two coins and a torch to move <gasps> past this barrier. Ooh. So the torch pays for the barrier, and then I use two coins to go there. there. I also then stop next to this statue. We reveal it to be, if I have any coins, which I don't, I would lose them all. Oh. Okay. So just like, it's the these coins, isn't it? When that's turned yes. over, not yes. coins in your hand. Correct. Okay. Just want to clarify. So um, I am going to with my smuggler at the start of the card. I'm going to move one, two. Then I am going to. Move. Or do I? No, I'm going to use the two coins there with those two coins there, and I'm going to purchase a healer for four coins. And then I'm going to be using my scout to go there. Okay. And that's my cards. Scout into there. Paddle into there. And that's as much as I can do. And I've got three to spend. I will take another treasure map because treasure maps are cool. Kind of. Apparently. <laughs> that's what I say anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go student, student, skipper. So one, two, three. Then my skipper and my smuggler together go there and then I'm going to spend my two coins oh, on a tutor. Okay, I don't think I've got any two coins up there. And that's all my that's cards. Nice. Oh, that's awkward. So I'm going to spend the archaeologist to... So I haven't got enough to spend to pass this barrier at the moment so we have to just move to there with the archaeologist. And then I'm going to spend, well, actually I'm going to discard that one to spend two to take the tutor because I need more flame in my life. And I'm going to keep on that, discard that, and discard that. One, two, three, four. Oh, dropping my cards. Oh my gosh. Still dropping your cards? Yeah. Right. How do you think the game's going for you? You seem to be a bit stuck We're back We're having a party? Are we talking is that what about? It is? It's a jungle party? A jungle party. <laughs> right. So my four cards. Let's see where I am. Mm. Okay. Great. Um. Okay. I will. 
I've learned this carefully. Because he's not strong enough. Shh. Okay, I'm gonna. Mm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Are you really? Uh, I was. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to use my tutor mm -hmm. to move this one, one, two. Okay. Then I'm going to use my... Just a word of note, you can only use one card per hero, so you can't split yeah. a card across. So I'm going to use my healer to just move him there. Mm -hmm. Then I've got three coins, mm -hmm. four coins five, six coins Taking to purchase the pilot. The pilot. There you go. And then, thank you. And then, oh. then that's it. Correct. So, <laughs> it would be a bit foolish for me to do anything else right there. And then. So I'm going to pay two students to pay the price of this barrier. Oh my lord, look at the amount of barriers we've got. Oh, two. They're not coming down to a tie break. That's all I can say. I hope it does, because that's the funniest way to win. <laughs> I will play the treasure map and discard that from the game. That gives me a coin. And it also gives me a move onto any adjacent space. I will move to there. And I will spend my two coins there on a tutor, which allows me to bring down something from the top row. And I will bring... It's time for the big guns. I'll bring the jeep <gasps> down. Oh my lord. The, the jeep is fast, but it is one, sheet, one use only. Yeah. It gets trash cutting through the jungle. Um, it does. So you can only use it once. Like any any good Bond film, the jeep only gets used <laughs> once. Okay, so you put this here and go one to two adjacent spaces. So one, two. Take that barrier. Okay, I'm going to discard the traveller permanently from the game. Okay. Now, so the way the game works, I can only top my cards up at the end of my turn, so I'm now playing a hand with just three cards. Sorry, Kirsten, carry on. It's okay. Um, then I am... to play... Just figure it out a second. My photographer, one, two. My smuggler, one, two. Then... One, two, and, and have you got any coins? I haven't them? got any okay, coins. Fine. And then my skipper, oh, oh, one, and then that's as far as I can go because I don't have enough torches to carry on. Okay. Wow, she caught me up quite a lot there. So I'm going to play the scout through into the jungle. <gasps> I'm going to pause briefly while I pay the photographer and a coin to take the last treasure map because I'm going to be stopping next to a statue and that could lose me coins. I will bring down the gentleman. Yes, sir. Hello. How are you? Lovely. Time for a gin and tonic. <laughs> um, oh, yes, please. <laughs> really. And it's all lose all coins again. That's not a problem for either of us. No, it's not. I'd have um, a blood orange. Would you? Uh, with Mediterranean tonic or... Um, so if you ever see Kirsty in a bar, now you know her order. <laughs> Or, a blood um, orange gin with Mediterranean yeah. tonic. Yes. Okay. I think so. Yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> distracted by alcohol. Um, mm -hmm. Which Chris is actually teetotal for the most part. I, I am actually. It's crazy. So, hmm. what can I go for on this guy? One of the hard things to do in the game, and one of the things you're trying to constantly do is is not be chasing what you need next but to have it already in your deck yeah and that's a really hard thing in all deck builders to be fair it's a really hard thing to manage it's, it's part of the interest within the game but in this game especially it seems particularly frustrating at times that you know you've got the cards in there because you've been trying to plan ahead but you just can't get them out in the right in a timely fashion so i'm going to play two students um, and I believe that is all I can do. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm going to play the skipper to move myself into there. I've maintained adjacency, so I don't have to worry about that again. Not that I was particularly worried about that again. 
I'm also then going to spend three coins to take the gentleman. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you very much. Lovely. And I'm going to hold on to that. In fact, no, I'm going to discard that card. I don't need it right now. It was a treasure map. One. <laughs> Kirsty, over to you. Uh, yeah, I just needed to get my cards. Because I was one short. I'm not sure this is going to be any better, to be honest. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. None at all. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be playing in this order. So firstly, I'm moving with my smuggler, one, two. Then I'm going to be using two, three, four, five coins to purchase a jeep. Damn it. And that's as far as I can go with that move. So I now know that Kirsty's got a huge boost one, potentially two, coming two, with that jeep. Three. Which is something I need to be aware of, especially when it comes to running me back. <laughs> really. <laughs> I'm going to play the archaeologist to move around here, maintaining the adjacency so I don't have to worry about losing any coins. And... I will play the treasure map to move to there and to pick up a coin. And then I'll use the coin and those coins to take a healer. Mm -hmm. Treasure map goes out of the game. The coin goes back into my coin, into the, the coin pile. Mm. Over to you. Okay, so first I'm going to play the tutor for two torches to move here. Then... I'm going to play, what am I going to play? Shit, that is out. So I've got a problem at the moment. Kirsty's managing to get both of her people all, all the way over to here. I saw this guy back here. Now my plan is for him to make a dash to this one when this guy starts to make his move back this way. So they're roughly heading back at the same time. You focus on your cards. <laughs> I'm just listening, just taking it in. Um, Move that one there. Okay. I'm going to play. She's not going to play. She's just my saying. Pa okay, it. I'm going to play my pilot, which I now need to remember the order of which I play this. So. Two of those. One, two. And why did I do that? Ignore that. So I was there. Yep. One, two. No. One will play my pilot. Let me just figure this out. I'm not sure I can do anything with any. If it's any worth any good. <laughs> oh. Okay, no. I'm going to play. Skipper to get him one closer there. Then I'm going to play my. Is it, it's not really worth doing. My scout to go there. Oh. I'm going to have to find my pilot to go there. And there's nothing worth purchasing for two, is there? No. Nope. Okay, that was a waste. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to play the tutor to go one, two. I'm going to play the treasure map at that point to take a coin and to move on to an adjacent space. So I'll move to there and collect the first gem, which unfortunately means nothing in this game because, well, it, it means nothing. Um, I'm going to then play the skipper to start bringing this person back, partly to block a space, <laughs> being entirely honest. And I will... The treasure map is eliminated from the game. I've got my coin. I will buy another gentleman. I don't know you can buy gentlemen, but apparently you can. You suggesting you can buy ladies? <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't know you could buy gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not suggesting the purchase okay. of people in general <laughs> is to be is to be frowned upon <laughs> as a bad thing. Right. I believe so. buying people is bad. Okay. First thing I play a student to move one. I play another student to move one. I'm gonna play an archaeologist to move two, uh, one, two. 
then I'm going to play a smuggler to go one. Okay. And that's as far as I'm going with that. No, I'm not. I'm doing that. I'm playing my smuggler to go bang and collect that one instead. So that's that. Okay. And okay. Done. I'm going to play a student to move to there. And then what? <laughs> You're trying to block me, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm going to play a tutor to go one, two. I'm going to play a gentleman. Yes, sir. One, two, and then two. And I'm going to hold on to that card as I whiz across the board. One, two. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. It's not useful at all. So, why is it not useful, Kirsty? Because I have no water movement when I'm stuck near water for both of my people, that's right. Sorry, can I just laugh at water movement? <laughs> oh, okay, inability to move through the blue space. Okay, is that fine. No, no, water movement was fine, I enjoyed it thoroughly. So, um... I mean, if you need the bathroom. <laughs> no, I don't. So I'm going to use my two, one and three, which is six coins to purchase a... Pilot. Do I purchase a jeep and hold that one back? I'm going to purchase a jeep instead. So that's there. Then I'm using my three here to go there. Mm -hmm. I'm using that one to go there and there. Okay. And then I'm holding on to this one. So that was my healer used and my archaeologist. Okay, fine. I've got some uh, blue movement now. Aww. Okay. So I'm going to smuggle to there, and then I'm going to use the smuggler and the photographer to buy something worth four. I will take another hero, and we will bring. The tracker in. Everyone likes a good tracker. Apparently. It's all good. And they're going to use that student to move him to there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hold on to that card and discard those. In fact, no, I'm not going to discard all of them. One, two, three, four. Over to you. Okay. So. I'm going to go one, two, so I've got two travellers, a photographer which is four, and a pilot five, six to purchase a pilot. You and your pilots. You love a good pilot. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to use the rest of my pilot card. Um, may I ask a question? You may ask, you may ask a question. That's very formal. You're not, a, you're not the lady. She doesn't exist in the game. I am a lady. Oh, Thank sorry. You very much. Okay. If I move to collect a gem, can I then use the rest of the movement? You, end, no, you, need, to, you need to end a space on that. End your turn on the space. To okay. Collect in that case, I will go not very far. I will go. Oh. Why don't you just collect the gem? I suppose I should. Yeah, because I can't really do anything else. Collect my gem. Okay, that was my waste of my pilot. Over to you. It's not like it's a one off thing, so that's kind of alright. That's true. So I'm going to play the tutor to move one, two. I am then going to play the traveller to move one and the student to move another one. Um, I'm going to discard that card at the moment. Over to you. Okay. Just give me two seconds thinking time. Only two? Hmm. Maybe a few more. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to get from A to B. <laughs> I just need to plan it because there's a lot um, at stake right now. Okay, I've got this. I'm going to use my Jeep 
You can use the five coins to purchase a Jeep. <laughs> Start off with. Then I'm going to use... So I'm going to go... I'm just counting up. One, two, three, four. Just trying to figure out if there's a way of going round. Okay, so I'm going to go blues, greens, so that's five, so five, that is five, then five. And then that's we, the end of my we've, day. We've got, I have a moment of pause because I, what's really funny is Chris could have just gone there with like one, two, three, four symbols. Okay, so what, as, no, as, no, 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 no. It's chosen because she wants to no, use no, all no, the no. symbols she's got to no, come this way around. So I went one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, one, yeah. two, three. Because you've got five paddles and five. Yeah, but I can't actually go onto this one because that's an extra one. No, but you could go here. Yes, and I've already used the five coins, yeah. so I can't do any more of that. So that's my Jeep spent and used and discarded from the game. Then, have you brought the pile down, by the way? Oh, sorry. Um, I think we'll go for the master. Okay. Because everybody loves a master. So I'm then going to go with the tutor for two. One, two. Then I'm going to go for Smuggler for two and Smuggler for two. Okay. Okay. I've got no coins to use. You have no coins. Okay. That's true. Okay. Yes. I'll play the archaeologist to go to there. Then I will play. Gentleman to go to there, another gentleman to go to there, mm -hmm. and a healer to go to there, and the coin to go to there. Mm -hmm. Over to you, one, two. Okay, so I'm going to play. My scout to get me. No, I'm not. Forget that. I'm going to play my two students to that there. Then my skipper. The torch there. And that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to play a tutor to go here. Play my healer to come here. My skipper to go to there. And that'll do me. See, it's going to be a very tight finish. We're getting very close to the end of the game. We're getting to the Mad Dash home stage. Who can get to the Golden Temple first? It better be me. So, I'm going to play two travellers for two coins. I'm going to play a scout. Oh, you're sending there. him back. I thought he was going to get that, that gem over there. Then, I haven't decided yet what's happened. I'm going to... And my pilot to do two torches and a coin. Okay. Change of strategy oh, from Kirsty. I, I haven't changed my strategy. Have you not? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a last minute thing there where I just realised, ooh. I'm going to play the tutor to get me there and to get that gem. 
then we'll play the healer to go coin with two of them. The scout need to bring that one to there. And I'll discard that and it's Kirsty's go. Okay. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> so we are getting to the point where <laughs> what you have in your hand can be good or bad. <laughs> yeah. So Hmm. Not useful. Play a tutor to go one, two. Oh, I think there's done more there. Then I'm going to play a pilot to go one, two. One, two, but just ignore that one. One, two. One, two. You use oh, no, that fine. one, I don't know. That's fine. That Keep an eye on Kirsty, she will take advantage. I won't take advantage. Then I have four coins to purchase an archaeologist, which I will do. So that's four coins on a smuggler and a photographer to purchase an archaeologist. And I will bring down. Um, I'll bring down the professor. Okay. Because there's been of professor. So I'm going to play the smuggler for two water movements and then combine those to get the master, which is going to hopefully prove quite useful. Keep hold of that. And draw my last coin. Over to you. Okay. So I'm gonna climb a jeep. <laughs> oh my. I'm playing my torches, my machete, my coin, my water. Okay. okay. Um then I'm gonna play the Jeep. Yeah, sorry, that goes over there. I'm going to play my student to collect my red. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. To collect my ruby. Then I'm going to play a student to go there. I'm going to play a student to go there. Over to you. Okay, I'm going to discard my student, go into the game to move into there. I will play a gentleman to move into there. I'll play another gentleman to move into there. And I'll discard that to there. Okay, I'm going to still play my G. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then discard the fifth one. Um, I'm going to play that for the mm -hmm. jungle for the torches and then one two for the coins then i'm going to play <laughs> She's still gonna win. smuggler to go there then i'm going to play my archaeologist um yeah that's um yeah that's it for now okay Okay, I'm going to play the skipper into there to get on blue gem. I'm going to play the master. Oh, sorry, one, two, three. Take one, two, three. Okay. I'll play the tutor to get to there and discard all of those. Ah! What's wrong? Here we go. I hope you get one, horrible cards. Two, three, four. Now that's really not very nice, is it? Get, I've done nothing but be nice to you. Get on with your game. Get on with your two. And that kind of level of hostility <laughs> is not welcome to games like Ludus Warfare. Right. Great. <laughs> nothing at all. You've got to have, you have to have flames. <laughs> no, I really haven't. That's the thing. Okay, okay, I've got it. So this is any movement, isn't mm -hmm. it, to get into the temple? Okay. 
So I'm going to use my pilot to go one, two. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Does it? One, mm. no, it doesn't matter. Hang on, stop, stop, stop. Where was I there? You're there. Right, I'm panicking now. I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Remind me, you can put two cards together to equal that amount, can't you? Yeah, so if you want to move to there, you could... So, for example, I can go for torches there, and then the no. four there. Why not? Because that's two. Two and two, because I'll finish using everything else. Okay. So there, and I'll stop there. And use a card to get in. Oh, use the rest of the card. Just any card to get in. Oh, okay. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You can't get there, it's a two person temple, you can't get in. <laughs> He's going to try and do it now so that he wins on his barriers. I can't win on the barriers. Okay, Are you sure about that? Okay, sure? Oh. Well played. <laughs> he was so sure he'd win then. Awesome. I think you were. I think you were. Oh, to be fair, I thought he'd won until then. It's hard. It was literally only just then when I realised actually, send one back to block the way, like he'd done at the start. Which then made me think, actually, this might work. The point is, it doesn't matter. I got both of my little men back. They served me well. And I've got some beautiful rubies, emeralds and sapphires. Tell people what you think of the game. I like the game. <laughs> Nothing to do with the fact I won. No, um, as, as a, a gamer, I've always struggled with deck builders and to understand cards as well as other people. It seems to be something that it takes a while for the penny to drop with me. Um, but actually, I quite like this one now. I've got used to playing it. Mm -hmm. um, it does have that kind of countdown feel, that the race to get back when you're trying to get through your cards quickly, when you you know that you need to burn them like I was burning those jeeps then. I mean, without those, I'm, I'm, to be fair, I don't think I would have won. Um, I, I I quite like the mechanics of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I like the colours. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do want to replace these with real gems, but yeah, he won't not. let me. He won't let me. But I would like to. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so I love this game. It's it's got a real so I it's easy to liken it to something like Clank where you're using deck builder mechanics to move across the board. But what really makes this game stand out and feel very different and give it a very different vibe is the tempo and the pacing of the game. On the way out, because you've got smaller cards and you're not moving as quickly, it feels like a slog and a, like a hack and slash adventure. Mm -hmm. But on the way back, when you've got a lot of the bigger cards, it's a proper race. So yeah. once you've got the gems, it feels like your adrenaline's pumping, you get in there and you're racing back across yeah. the a, across the jungle. And and it's cards like it's cards like the Jeep that make all the difference because they're one shot cards. Like there's, and that's that's the beauty of it. You spent money to get a one shot card, but those one shot cards can be so powerful. They can really push you through the game, yeah. and it really like you've got them in your hand and you see them. And you go, not not just yet, not yet, not, not yet, yet, not yet. yet. You're, you're waiting for them to happen, and that's a fantastic feeling because it really pushes that adrenaline buzz. Yes. And it it's at its best when this game is really on the cusp as that game was, really close, really tight. It's a real adrenaline, adrenaline rush to get your, your players back. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So much fun. Um, and it's, it's a game that I can highly recommend. And if you've got an opportunity to pick up a copy of this or the original game, um, do so because you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I intend to buy everything available for this game so we can <laughs> have the world's biggest map. And maybe wow. with a bit more time I can beat Kirsty. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Um, Don't forget you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for Leaders Full Pets. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>